a lot of work uh, goes in and money goes in to building great websites, great digital executions. But a lot of it doesn't work effectively. Now, while your competitors are off taking your, your customers away or your, your prospective customers away. Uh, 4CE and a 4CE benchmark therefore becomes a really good partner for digital teams. Uh, it measures how you're performing, if competitors are doing it better, um, and uh, and if so, uh, why and where are they doing it better? 4CE breaks down the journey that customers go into, into what we call the consider phase and the act phase. Consider is all about uh, how well is my site uh, engage, initially engaging with a, with a customer? Uh, can a customer match a product or service to a need? And how well does it support that? Uh, how well does it support making decisions? And then through what we call the act phase, how well does it facilitate someone to, to actually buy? Uh, how easy it is to buy from you? So forcing you breaks that experience down into multiple, what we call stages of a journey. Uh, uses a range of techniques from, uh, uh, from getting task-based information, getting customers to complete tasks, uh, through to uh, asking them questions about attitude and motivation. Uh, getting them to rank and rate specific aspects of the site. And, and importantly, and I suppose the jewel of that methodology is uh, a very rich best practice audit that's conducted by our, um, our experts here at Global Reviews. But what it does is it brings all that data together, helps diagnose where pain points exist, uh, and becomes a very, uh, as I mentioned, evidence-based uh, identification of where pain points are within your experience and helps us prioritise what needs to be done to optimise that sales funnel and get more customers getting through it in a more satisfying way. 4CE provides the most complete set of data on the customer experience or online customer experience that a company provides. It's special because it represents four different dimensions and it's only studying the customer experience from those different dimensions that you can actually uncover whether you have a problem or not. Most research will study customer experience from perhaps one, maybe two dimensions. Maybe look at usability. It might be a web audit. However, it's only by layering in factors such as voice of customer feedback or features and function methodology, audit, that you're able to identify if you have a problem, why you have a problem, and what you need to do to fix that problem. How to go from good to great. The benchmark is constructed in two different ways. We have our best, best practice features and functions criteria, which is our traditional benchmarking methodology. We conduct market research into the needs of, of consumers um, if they're looking for a particular product. Um, depending on what their needs are, um, we weight those particular uh, criteria and that becomes the framework of the benchmark. What we also want to do is we want to explore customers experience on the website as well. So their behaviour, their thoughts, uh, what they think is great about the website. So we conduct remote usability testing um, on all of the competitors in the benchmark. Now those measurements, whether they be effectiveness measures, uh, satisfaction, get inputted into the benchmark as well. So customers receive uh, a comprehensive workshop presentation that's delivered at their offices. Uh, the workshop is generally 90 minutes duration. Uh, in addition to that, we provide a, a comprehensive data set that allows them to, to, to go into the finer detail and analyse the detail of the study. 4C benchmarks are conducted on a six monthly basis, uh, but we conduct them at a product level within a particular industry, within a particular geography. So again, for product managers and for digital managers, we can be very, very targeted uh, at the data that we're capturing around specific objectives and strategies that an organisation has. So we collect that data on a six monthly basis, and we ask our customers and those that are subscribing into the program, who would, like, who would they like to be compared against? Are there local competitors? Or in fact, are there international competitors that they would like to bring into, uh, in, into the review? 
What would they like to learn? Uh, uh, do they aspire to be like someone else? So we can bring that in, evaluate their performance and how uh, and why they're doing it better uh, and bring that insight to, 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 the, to the fore, make sure that we can learn from it. So six monthly, uh, learn from those insights, send that data away, get our clients to implement it, and then we come back again in, a six month, in six months' time and do it all again.